In 1977, two pioneers embarked on what might be one of the most epic feats of exploration ever undertaken. In 1977, NASA launched two spacecraft named Voyager to investigate the outer parts of our solar system. Years later, both spacecraft traveled to the farthest edge of our solar system and scientists were stunned by the results. When Voyager 1 and then Voyager 2 reached interstellar space, they detected a surprising rise in heat to a whopping 50,000 degrees Celsius. They found a hot, glowing zone marking the edge of the sun's influence. In this video, we are going to examine what Voyager found at that wall of fire, why scientists called it a wall of fire, and how it provides insight into the edge of our solar system and into the space beyond. But what could create a scorching 50,000 degree heat wall at the solar system's edge? An invisible barrier or something stranger? Discovery. In 1977, NASA launched the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft on what would become the most ambitious voyage that humanity has ever taken into the universe. Originally designed to conduct unprecedented close-up studies of the gas giants of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, these robotic spacecraft contained advanced instruments that would eventually share knowledge about the very edges of our cosmic neighborhood. Both spacecraft were remarkably successful in carrying out the first phase of their missions by sending us detailed surveys of the giant planets. As Voyager 1 passed Jupiter, it came within approximately 277,000 kilometers of the planet's cloud tops before capturing some of the most beautiful pictures ever taken of the visible surface of the Great Red Spot Storm, which has been swirling for a known duration of at least several hundred years. Both spacecraft traveled to Saturn, where they helped uncover the complex structure of its ring system and discovered several new moons. While Voyager 1 continued northward, Voyager 2 made history by becoming the first space probe to visit Uranus and Neptune, completing the first grand tour of the outer gas giants in solar system history. After their main task was complete, both space probes headed towards unexplored regions of our solar system. The deeper in space they went, the more they started monitoring the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles that streams out from the sun. It had long been considered that this solar wind would at some point encounter some resistance from the thin gas and dust that permeates our Milky Way galaxy, creating a boundary now called the heliopause. This theoretical boundary marked the edge of our heliosphere, that huge bubble of space influenced by our sun. The moment of truth finally arrived in August 2012, when Voyager 1 became the first ambassador in humanity's history to cross into interstellar space. This historic crossing occurred at a distance from Earth of about 121 astronomical units, with 1 AU being the average distance between our planet and the Sun. Voyager 2 followed suit six years later in November 2018, affording the scientific world a second opportunity to study this crucial boundary. What happened next left scientists around the globe amazed. As both spacecraft crossed the heliopause, they detected something quite remarkable. The temperature suddenly jumped dramatically to as high as 30,000 to 50,000 degrees Celsius, 54,000 to 90,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This wasn't a solid wall, but rather a super hot transition zone where the outgoing solar wind meets resistance from the surrounding interstellar medium. Scientists colorfully dubbed this region the Wall of Fire, though paradoxically, the voyagers weren't in danger. The particles were spread so thinly less than one particle per cubic centimeter of space, that they didn't transfer significant heat to the spacecraft. The spacecraft readily detected highly variable magnetic fields and abundant high-energy particles from the sun in the solar wind region. Entering the transition zone, more commonly referred to as the heliopause, they measured the dramatic rise of temperature as well as viewed the magnetic field becoming stabilized. Lastly, within interstellar space itself, the voyagers found themselves in a realm characterized by stable magnetic fields and copious galactic cosmic rays. Instead of finding a vacuum at the edge of the solar system, the voyagers found a very active frontier. It was not simply a boundary, but a transition zone formed by such variables as pressure, motion, and magnetic forces. Subtle alterations in the magnetic field, variations in particle densities, 
and shifts in the behavior of the solar wind that the instruments on the spacecraft detected forced a re-evaluation of previous thinking about the nature of the heliosphere. Today, both Voyager spacecraft are continuing their journeys into the unknown, carrying messages about the human race on golden records containing the sounds and images of Earth. Voyager 1, traveling approximately 17 kilometers per second, leads whereas Voyager 2 follows at a marginally slower pace. Even as their power sources gradually diminish, these pioneering spacecraft continue to operate and transmit precious data about the conditions in interstellar space. The mission has totally rewritten our understanding of our cosmic neighborhood and continues to inspire new generations of scientists and explorers. The Voyager program is a magnificent testament to human curiosity and creativity, as demonstrated by the ways we can adjust spacecraft conceived for missions in the 1970s to new terrains of exploration beyond their original mission paradigms. The explorations of the Voyager spacecraft have transformed our understanding of the Sun's impacts on surrounding space and provided insights into our cosmic environment that are unlike anything we have ever seen. As they travel further into interstellar space, they carry the legacy of humanity into the future and represent our first steps into the enormous arena of space beyond our solar system. The voyagers, as they venture deeper into interstellar space, continue to send back vital data on conditions beyond the bounds of our solar system. Voyager 1, at a speed of approximately 17 kilometers per second, or 38,000 miles per hour, is taking the lead. Its sister vessel, Voyager 2, follows not quite as swiftly. Though both vehicles are very far from Earth, each continues with surprising resilience, yet is bound by increasing technical challenges due to their power sources slowly diminishing. One of the most serious issues developed in 2022, when Voyager 1 started to send mysterious telemetry data back to the deep space network. The anomaly, which had initially perplexed scientists, was finally found to be caused by the AACS of the spacecraft that routed data through a computer that had been turned off for years. By using some pretty ingenious troubleshooting, engineers at NASA pinpointed the problem and successfully rerouted the data via an alternate computer, which successfully restored proper communication. The instruments on the spacecraft continue to paint a detailed picture of interstellar space. The plasma science instrument aboard Voyager 2 Voyager 1's was damaged during the Saturn flyby, allows unique diagnostics of the interstellar medium. Surprisingly, this region contains plasma that is colder and slower than had been anticipated, acting somewhat like traffic slowing down on a cosmic freeway. Such an unexpected finding has given scientists a new understanding of how our solar system interacts with the surrounding interstellar medium. Each of the two spacecraft bears a gold record featuring sounds and images of Earth, left as messages about humanity for any extraterrestrial life form they may come across. Among these record sounds are rain and thunder, a variety of musical pieces by artists ranging from Bach to Chuck Berry, and greetings in 55 human languages. The possibility of an alien encounter is extremely low, yet these artifacts nonetheless constitute humanity's first ever deliberate effort to communicate with the cosmos. Looking to the future, it becomes a real challenge for NASA to keep in touch with these ambassadors from afar. Between May 2025 and February 2026, Deep Space Station 43 in Canberra, currently the only antenna capable of sending commands to Voyager 1 and 2, will be undergoing major upgrades, meaning those communication windows will have to be carefully managed by engineers to keep these historic spacecraft operating. The Voyager program represents something more than just great engineering feats. It is a testament to human curiosity and the will for exploration. As both spacecraft travel deeper into interstellar space, they mark humanity's first steps beyond our solar system, carrying forward our legacy into the vast expanse of the cosmos. Their journey serves as a reminder that even the most ambitious dreams of exploration can become reality through determination, scientific excellence, and careful planning. While it would take Voyager 1 about 70,000 years to travel to Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor, the two space probes have already accomplished the purpose of their mission, to provide unprecedented insight into the outer regions of our solar system 
reveal the nature of the heliopause, and undertake the exploration of conditions in interstellar space. Continuing on an eternal journey through the cosmos, they remain active ambassadors of humanity, carrying our story into the unknown reaches of the universe. But what if the voyagers encounter something entirely unpredictable, phenomena or forces beyond human understanding? Could their discoveries change everything we know? Scientific importance and theories. The Voyager spacecraft has made history because it explored the outer regions of our solar system. The scientists had guesses about what they would encounter. However, the Voyager satellite showed them that their guesses were correct. This mission showed us that the outer regions of our solar system are even more fascinating than we had thought. What the spacecraft found was astounding. The magnetic field of the Sun travels out past our planetary system and varies in ways that scientists did not expect. The magnetic field of the Sun can be imagined as a shield protecting our planet from damaging radiation from the rest of the galaxy. The magnetic field of the Sun plays a vital role in keeping our planet safe from cosmic rays. In the outer part of our solar system, something fascinating occurs. In this region of our solar system, the solar wind, which consists of microscopic particles emitted from the Sun, cools down and collides with the matter from neighboring stars. In the process, the region becomes hot, extremely hot, reaching temperatures of hundreds of thousands of degrees. However, this is no ordinary fire. This fire consists of microscopic charged particles that get energized through collisions of the particles. This generates an odd form of fire that can be detected, but not seen. What NASA also likes to point out about this region is its similarity to the wave created when a boat moves through water. This can be described as a large pressure system building along the edge of the movement itself. A boat moves through the water, pushing the water out of the way as it goes along. Our solar system does the same thing when it moves through the universe. The Voyager spacecraft discovered something unexpected. Voyager 1 passed through this region about 90 million miles further from Earth than Voyager 2 did. This slight difference taught us an enormous lesson. Our solar system isn't constant. It actually expands and shrinks depending on the level of the activity of the Sun. During the active periods of the Sun, our solar system expands. During the quiet periods of the Sun, our solar system shrinks. This continuous process of expansion and shrinkage occurs as if our solar system inhales and exhales. Researchers also explored the magnetic fields in this area. They were startled to learn that the magnetic fields inside and outside of our solar system are almost parallel to each other. This confirms that the edge of our solar system and the interstellar region do not consist of a clear-cut boundary, but rather a transition region where the two magnetic fields intermix. This has altered our concept of the relationship of our solar system to the universe. And finally, Voyager has informed us about cosmic rays, namely high-energy particles from the universe beyond our own solar system. Our solar system functions as a filter through which the cosmic rays pass. A large number of cosmic rays are filtered out, while others get through, depending on the level of activity of the Sun at a particular point in time. This has direct applications regarding the level of radiation in our solar system and even the vicinity of the Earth itself. In summary, the Voyager mission taught us that the outer edge of our solar system is not static and peaceful, but rather a dynamic region of the solar system under the influence of the movement of the Sun and the many unknowns of the galaxy. The Voyager mission is still relevant today, since we continue to glean new insights about the uncharted regions of our cosmic backyard. But beyond the solar veil lies something even stranger. Forces and phenomena we've never seen before. Are we truly ready? Implications and what's next? As Voyager passed the outer edge of our solar system, it marked the beginning of a new phase in its mission through history as it became the first spacecraft to pass through interstellar space. Instead of observing from a distance, scientists decided to send a spacecraft directly to this unknown area. This remarkable achievement represented a significant milestone in the exploration of space, reminiscent of explorers who crossed the ocean many years ago. As explorers discovered new land and new bodies of water, Voyager opened the unknown territories of our outer solar system to scientists who had been only dreaming of the possibilities. This region of the galaxy helps them understand the dynamics of our solar system 
and the galaxy as a whole. They're extremely interested in learning about our solar system's capability to shield us from harmful radiation from outer space. It's almost as if they're trying to understand the giant umbrella of protection that protects us from bad space weather. By analyzing the changes in this shield of protection, researchers can accurately predict bad space weather. This helps them protect astronauts who will be traveling in space, just as meteorologists predict the weather to protect us from harm. They can also apply this knowledge to create a better shield to protect spacecraft from harm, just as buildings are made from blueprints to withstand natural disasters. What scientists can learn from our solar system helps them understand things about other star systems as well. All stars form their own protective zone that impacts the planet around them. By calculating the edge of our own solar system, scientists can learn about the ways in which other stars shield their planets from the radiation coming from the stars. They can determine which planets in the universe can support life by understanding this information. It's almost as if scientists found the ways in which each house in a neighborhood protects its residents from the sunshine and rain in their own unique ways. Perhaps houses had large porches, awnings, and unique window settings in each house. The two Voyager spacecraft are still sending a weak signal back home to Earth. To extend the lives of the spacecraft, the power that each of them can generate is carefully conserved. They turn off the equipment they do not need at the moment, but might need in the coming years. Sending signals to Earth from the spacecraft provides valuable information about the regions of the universe that lie beyond our planet's neighborhood. This information has never been recorded before. However, in the next decade of the 20s, the spacecraft will no longer be functional. They will continue drifting through the universe because of the golden records attached to them that hold images of the Earth. The golden records are also very interesting. They are essentially time capsules drifting through the universe, containing messages of greeting in 55 different languages, songs from the likes of Bach to Chuck Berry, and even recordings of natural phenomena such as thunderstorms and waves of the ocean. The reason the scientists chose to deposit these recordings was that they felt they had to provide the listeners, who might be alien and whom they might never meet, a full description of what the Earth was like. Future space expeditions will be based on the findings of the Voyager spacecraft. NASA intends to send a new spacecraft that will venture thrice as far as the Voyager spacecraft. The new spacecraft will be equipped with advanced equipment that can create a map of the shape of our solar system and also delve deeper into outer space. Future expeditions may unlock the secrets of whether the region that the Voyager spacecraft entered has the same boundaries around our particular sun, or whether the same boundaries exist in the Milky Way galaxy around each of its stars. It's rather like traveling to a new continent. First, a new discovery has to be made, and then others will return to study it in depth. The new spacecraft will be equipped with sensors that can measure slight variations of the magnetic field and charged particles to understand the behavior of stars in the surrounding outer space. Voyager has already revealed many things about the wonders of space weather. One thing that has been discovered about the protective shield of our solar system is that its shape isn't just a regular shape. Its shape resembles that of a windsock because of the pressure of the strong winds of stars from other regions. This shape also protects us from cosmic rays because cosmic rays are essentially super strong X-rays that move at extremely high speeds through the universe. Ever since Voyager launched, scientists have also learned even more about our cosmic neighborhood. It is still transmitting back and sending signals to the Earth. Even if the signals become weaker and weaker, by the time these signals reach the Earth, they have traveled through space for hours, giving scientists a picture of what exists far beyond the planet. It is incredible to still have Voyager functioning so well after travails for decades into space. In fact, it now holds the title of being the furthest away human-made object in space while traveling with a very special message about life on Earth for any beings that may encounter it. As Voyager travels deeper into space, it gives an understanding of how stars impact how space behaves around them and how our solar system fits into the grand scheme of the universe. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.